welcome back to another video you guys today i am going to be doing a video on the father's day towels that i have been doing um i have been getting a lot of requests asking me how i do this so i'm gonna go ahead and um do a video i actually did just get some orders in um right now is actually 11:06. um so i'm gonna actually start on the video okay so the first thing that you want to do um you can get which is the shape um which is the square that i got and i basically just unlock the square and so i basically just unlocked it and then the size is 11.75 by 2.95 um, so then you would kind of change the color white and it would be just exactly like how I did this one. Once you have your box, so this is basically the towel. So I have to, um, what the order that I'm doing right now, she wants the word daddy. So I will put daddy in it and I will kind of just do it just like this. Cause this is my guide of showing me you know, to making sure that I'm staying inside the box. So I go ahead and I hide that. And the font that I use is Impact. Oh, that was too big. Okay, let me line that back up. Okay, let's do that again. Let me just line it back up since I changed the font. me okay so once you kind of play around with it and you say okay that's how you want it inside the box then the next step I'm gonna try to go very slow with you guys so you guys can do step by step with me so as you, when you click it it's already grouped together so what you're gonna have to do is ungroup it and it moves that you know it moves the Y or it moves the letters away from each other I did get her consent on me doing this video with the images so i'm going to go ahead and upload the images and then i'll be right back so i want to show you this step um when you're uploading the image it's going to ask for a cut image or a print then cut you want to make sure you click the print then cut because what you're going to do is you're going to be printing it printing it on the printable vinyl and i got this from mike from michael's it was like 11 dollars, i believe um, so you're going to print it on there. So you want to make sure you do print and cut. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and continue uploading the rest of the video. I mean, the rest of the images, and then I will be right back. Okay. So once you uploaded the images, you're going to go ahead and click all, and then click insert images. And I'll start by one, one by one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just size it or lower it, put the size down. And I think I'm going to just do one by one just so I can kind of show you guys. So remember, we ungrouped it. So if you bring the image like that, we're going to right click, send to back. That way it's letting us know how it will look. And you kind of keep doing it until you say, okay, I think this will look right. Once it does that, you highlight just the D. You go right here to slice and click slice. Oh, it didn't do it. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> highlight it. Click slice. There we go. Remove the first layer, the second layer, and there you go. Grab another image, size it down, let's center back. Okay, that might work. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, highlight and then slice. 
remove the first layer, remove the second layer, and there you go. Keep doing the exact same thing. Center back. This one might have to hmm. I just play around with it to see. Okay, that did it. Remove it. So this is how you do it, you guys. It's once you get the hang up, you're gonna be like, okay. So make the image small. Remember to right click it, send to back, so you can see how it will look. I sometimes unlock. Highlight, make sure it's just highlighted that one word, and then you click slice. And let's see how this one looks. Okay, that one turned out nice. And then the last picture. And what I do is I always send my customers a mock-up. Um, once I get done with this and just show them how it looks, just in case they want to switch something out. I like to keep in contact with my customers so you know make sure you guys do that as well I mean you don't have to but I feel like it's better you know customer service if we do that now this one might cut his let's see And there we have it. Once we're done, I'm putting that over. Oops, wrong one. Gonna highlight it, do center vertical, and then you wanna go back and group it. Once you go back and group it, go back in and add the, unhide the, um, your, your, your towel, your box frame. And then you just go ahead and just play around with it. Get it to how you like it. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture off my phone and send her the mock-up before I go ahead and print. Then I'll be okay. right. So I went ahead and got her um, com confirmation, which she liked it. So. I'm gonna go in and offset it, which again, you just click the image and go to offset. And have it just like that. Once you do the offset, um, so it showed me that it's too large. I don't know why it does that. So let me actually do this. Let me attach it together and make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So yeah, if that happens, just go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna detach, move that out the way just hide that and then I'm gonna actually print this with the regular vinyl the permanent black vinyl 
I'm gonna actually print that. Once I get done um, printing that, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to print this. So I'm just do this step first, which click make it. Oh wait, let me go back because this one is not the print and cut. So make sure you pay attention to that as well because we are doing a print and cut, but with the background of this, of the offset, this is, you're just gonna go to operations and go to basic because we're gonna just cut this with the Cricut machine. We're not gonna print and cut. So once we do that, we go ahead and load it on our mat and then go ahead and just click the C so it can go ahead and cut it and I'll All be right, right so back. So once it's loaded on your mat, you're gonna go ahead and click vinyl because again, we're just doing the regular vinyl, which is the black one. And it's gonna go ahead and prepare it and cut that. Now that is finished cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that and then bring the actual image up. And I'm gonna flatten it, go over here to make it. And I already have my sticker paper in, which again is the printable vinyl. I will leave everything down in the description box of everything that you need to be able to make the Father's Day tile. Press continue, go ahead and send it to the printer that you wanna use. Turn off the bleed and click print. And it's gonna go ahead and print that. Okay, so it's done. So here is the image. And also here is the word daddy. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on my mat and then go ahead and let it cut. The option of what you would choose is the printable sticker paper. Um, so that way it can be able to cut this. Okay, so while that is cutting, I'm going to go ahead and I spray alcohol on the towel before I put anything down. That way any, you know, fingerprints or anything that's on there and um, it can adhere better. Place that on here. Okay, as you can see, it did cut everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start um, placing it. Now, I did used to put um, a clear, what was it, vinyl paper or clear vinyl over this but it was ripping the image for me it was um so i just started just doing it this way okay. so then you're just going to watch me just speed up the process and i'm just going to go ahead and start just taking off the sticker and inserting it you guys and there you have it that is how you make the father's day towel with slicing the images inside you can do this for any project it doesn't even have to be for father's day um, if you guys like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and help me reach my 500 subscribers make sure you help me reach my goal now thank you guys so much for watching